about 200 people coming on Saturday afternoon to the top deck of the Arboretum parking garage at York University. Everybody getting a chance to try different methods of solar viewing from very complicated professional ways to simpler family friendly ideas with of course experts on hand to lend a few tips and ideas for doing it safely. Um, on the large white telescope we have a solar safe filter um, so normally it would never be safe to point your telescope at the sun but we have some special filters that will block almost all of the light. Now next to that we have a smaller telescope, uh, which is a little black telescope you might see. It's a very small aperture telescope, and this small aperture telescope can be used to project the sun. Next to that, we have a solar filtered camera. We also have our pinhole creation station, which is a tent down there. Make a pinhole viewer uh, to view the sun. What, what are you doing over here? Um, we're drawing pictures, um, and then we're punching holes in them so that we can and then we can put them down on the block and so that the, we can make an image. Is it kind of difficult or is it, a, is it easy to do that? It's pretty easy. You just draw a picture and punch holes on the lines that you drew. Uh, I learned about the solar clock. I, I feel the energy from the sun is so strong, so we need to put on the special eyeglasses to protect our, ourselves. We are so excited for Monday, actually. Yes. I'm going to go to Niagara Falls. Oh. Yeah. Uh, she didn't know. You, you seem a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And there is another astronomical event that's huge that's getting forgive the pun eclipsed by the eclipse yeah the the upcoming april 8th eclipse is could not have been better if it was planned by an astronomer um, we actually have a alignment of the planets happening during totality you'll have mercury venus mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune all in the sky uh, with the eclipse happening and just to the side of jupiter we're actually having a comet that's flying through the solar system is it i mean are, are astronomers you know like fainting with excitement this is a lot going on at the same time <laughs> well, i don't know fainting with excitement, maybe pre preparing our cameras with, uh, with great, great hopes of clear weather. Elena telling us one of the hardest things about planning this particular event was the weather. They needed a nice sunny day to pull it off, just like the real thing. At York University, David Zura, City News.